Hi there, thanks for downloading Street Fighter the Miniatures game, the complimentary app to go alongside your board game. Uh, here I'll run you through a tutorial of what features it has. Uh, so here we go, this is the main screen, click start anywhere. Here you'll be uh, viewing all the characters in the game. Uh, this includes the base game and expansions, so as the stretch goals as well as on this arrow down in the bottom. To the right, it has the um, screen for all the expansion packs. Now you can randomize uh, what character you select with this question mark, or select one of the portraits here. When you select one of the portraits, it'll give you information on your fighter, uh, give you their uh, movement value, their health value, their ultra, and some little helpful hints. Uh, if you randomize, that will pick a random character from this screen. If you click randomize from this screen, it'll select a random character from both screens. Um, once you have selected your character, you'll move on to another screen. But here also has the boss information. So if some of you guys got the boss deck, you will get uh, some characters that have bosses. So there's a little boss icon above the character, Bison, Akuma, and Gokin. When you click boss, it'll select their mode to the boss mode, which gives them the health value and gives them new information. So let's go ahead and select Ryu and move on to the next screen. Select your character, then hit confirm. Once you're on this screen, you will have access to basically the health and uh, super meter for the game. Down the bottom is your super meter, it goes up to 8. Just click it, the bar, and it will give you the super meter. If you wish to go down, hit the EX button to use your EX mode. Um, up the top we have win and loss buttons. Just in case you're tracking rounds, I won the first round, and then I lost the second round, and then I won the first round. All you have to do is just cycle through. It has win, loss and uh, blank. Um, up the top we have the health bar to take damage from your character. Just tap the bar. You'll get a little animation. Uh, if you want to go back to the character select screen, here is the character select screen um, icon up here. Uh, the one with the three people. If I click it, it goes back. So we'll head back to Ryu. Um, if you're losing health, or you input the wrong amount, you can always use the plus button to bring you back up. Or some characters have health gain values as well. There's the donate button right next to the character select with the little money symbol. If you feel like you wish to uh, donate some cash for the cause, uh, it was a, a good app with a lot of hard work put into it, um, but can't go onto the Play Store obviously for obvious reasons. So we have um, all these buttons up here as well. These buttons represent uh, the different attacks or different types of um, moves in the game and they are accompanied with a sound bite from the game. So I sort of turn this into a health tracker with a soundboard type app to it. So you can do attack sounds. The infamous Hadouken! 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 Uh, the projectile sounds. You can taunt your enemy. You can do better than that. Uh, you can do one of the super meters. Shinku Hadouken! Yep, you've got your Tatsumakis and your Shuryukens. This varies for each character as they have lots of different varying attacks. But let's see what happens when we get full meter. Let's click the meter bar. And then once you get to 8 meter, you'll notice the ultra button appears. So when you feel you wish to release your ultra, you click this button. Let's Hadouken! There you go, you get a little attack. Um, and when your character is low on health and dies, you can cl you'll see that the health button up here goes grey, well from grey to green. Once you click green it will reset the character for you. There you go, round two, get ready to fight. Thanks for downloading the app, uh, and I hope you have a good time using it. Thanks!